I don't know if you guys have ever seen that video. It's like one of those, a dude with one of those water jet packs and they're like... Trying to do some cutesy, like, morning show intro. <laughs> and they're like, it's time for... It's time for something something in the morning. And then the dude with the jetpack's like, and it starts right now! And then he tries to take off and then immediately just koosh straight into the water <laughs> behind them. It's hilarious. All right, we're getting back to Jack 2, guys. I don't know how much more I have in here. Um, I'm at 46%, but I don't plan to 100% it, so... I don't know what the completion percent is. Oh, no. I remember this nonsense. We are going to quit out of this mission. Wait. No. Maybe I can't. Uh, triangle, triangle is back. Well, alright, I'm gonna do my best. <laughs> Maybe I should just hang back like this. Yeah, it seems to be working. Yeah, I guess just trying to barrel through is where I was having trouble before. Because the ship will shoot ya. But, uh, guys, it's not too big a deal. You can just blast. Also, this guy behind me. Where, where are you going? Get out of here, bro. Get out of here. I ain't even interested in what you gotta tell me. Ah, earlier today, I was looking at an accounting service. I gotta... I'm at the point where I'm making enough money my voice acting business that I should really get, like, a CPA. Um, and my taxes and everything. And that, oops, don't get too close to that. Um, and, yeah, it's annoying. It's really annoying to shop for, you know, a CPA. I, um, yeah, the people I was looking at first was, like, some accounting service, and it's like, oh, okay, it was pretty good, it's like an all-in-one service thing. You know, like, you know, here's how much it costs for a year of service, and I'm like, okay. And sounds legit, but I gotta do, you know, do my research to make sure y'all are on the up and up. They were not! 1-800-Accounting is apparently a massive scam. So many of the reviews. It's like a ton of the reviews were five-star, but did not sound like real reviews from real people. And then a bunch of them were one stars where it's just like, yep, they totally messed up our taxes, filed them totally wrong, didn't tell us, or like they waited until literally right before the tax deadline to tell us that they didn't have the information. All sorts of nonsense like that, and yeah, people just getting screwed over left and right, so I'm not gonna be going with them. Gonna, just gonna find a local CPA, I guess. My thing is, I just. I want to make sure the cost isn't too great, because, like, with the kind of service I'm in, um, the kind of work I'm in, it's very volatile, you know, it's, it's, it ch changes all the time. I, I have good years and I have bad years, so I don't want a service that's gonna be pricier than I'm able to really, you know, afford over time. I should look at the map. That's where I need to go. Okay, that's not too far off. Yeah, I guess just trying to run under the ships is my real issue. They're way too powerful. Oops. Watch out. Accountants, like, that's the thing is, I don't want to get, like, a cheap accountant, like, they totally, they do good work that I don't know how to do and I find very stressful, so I'm willing to pay a decent amount for a good accountant, but, uh, a bunch of work just tracking one down, which is time I could be spending getting some work done. I actually haven't gotten much, uh, 
armor gun fit. I mean, okay. It's hard to really explain because, like, there's the work that pays. Just want to get actual voiceover gigs. And there's the work that will hopefully get me the work that pays. So, like, I make YouTube videos and I stream. And so streaming and YouTube videos, I... Treat effectively as marketing, you know, it's like, if you guys hear me, if you guys have, like, a project or something and hear me, it's like, well, you'll get work doing that, or something, it just, it gets my name out there, so that hopefully, you know, somebody will, uh, actually, and of course I gotta do actual marketing, I gotta do research, there's a whole, it's a whole situation, I don't know, the kind of work I'm in, it's just, when you do freelance, it's, uh, it's mostly work to get work, you know what I mean? So, like, for every hour spent trying to find work, you can hope, like, on average for one minute of paid work. So you gotta make sure that you're making a good amount off of that. That's why freelancers, like, art commissioners, whatever, they charge so much because, like, they have a ton of business fees they gotta deal with, and they gotta, you know, housing is so expensive nowadays, so, like, it's important. Hey, if you hire a freelancer, recognize that, like, to even exist as a freelancer is an incredibly expensive proposition, so you gotta, you gotta respect that, man. A lot of work. Seems like not that much work because it's like, well, how much work are you doing for me? And it's like, it's not just about that. It's also about all the work it took, you know, getting to you, all the time it took learning how to do the stuff to do your work. So it's like, yeah, I might be able to it, record, edit, and deliver a voiceover in like, you know, depending on the size, like five hour, uh, five minutes to like an hour, but like. All the years it took me to be able to do that, and all the fucking money I've spent on training and such, it's like... can't pretend like that doesn't have some kind of value. And if you want to, I mean, that's your right, but also... Uh, go fuck yourself. It's like... Respect people, alright? If you, if you are the type who's gonna be like, I... I ordered this commission up, or like, oh, this commission price is too pricey, and you're gonna berate somebody over it, but like, be the kind of shithead who, like, ch does chargebacks on PayPal or whatever, it's like, no, alright? Because here's the reality of the situation, if you were getting art, whether it's, you know, audio art through music or voice acting, or visual arts through graphics, or... Um, you know, graphic art, drawings and such, or like animations or anything, that is a luxury service. So A, you should expect to pay luxury prices, and B, recognize that you shouldn't give someone grief like they're taking food out of your kid's mouth, alright? Like if you don't, if you don't want the price, if you can't afford it, just politely say no, sorry, outside my budget, don't be like... Don't go off on them like they're locking you out of a grocery store. Don't go off on them like they're a landlord pricing you out of your home. Because they're not. There's someone giving you something that you like. That they personally make for you. Sorry, I'm getting kind of crabby about it. I had a very busy day yesterday. I, uh, this has only happened once before on the freelancing side I use, but basically, um, projects will pop up and, you know, it's first come, first serve, so whoever can get it, it's, it's pretty frustrating, especially because most of the people who post those projects don't actually need them that soon, but, you know, whatever. Um, but, uh, yeah, yesterday, there was, like, nothing for most, pretty much all morning, and I was like, huh, that's weird, there's usually, like, a lot more projects 
first time of the day on a Monday. And then suddenly around like 1.30, like 30 projects popped up all at once. It was bonkers. And like I clicked and accepted like three of them before I, the rest of them showed up. And then the entire site crashed. It was all 502 errors, 504 errors. And it was a nightmare. It was, at, it was literally, I've had stress nightmares of that exact scenario where it's just like the, the notification sound is just going off over and over and over again and I can't get in and I can't upload it and there's like so many and I just am trying to cram a full day's worth of work into like like basically a half hour deadline that I have it's the worst and it was it was just awful I had an actual panic attack which had only ever happened to me once before but by the end of it I made like 250, 300 bucks over like really the half hour. So, well, it should have been all day that work. It's, uh, oh, no. I thought a new one had come in, but, uh, that was just an, a different one sidling out. Yeah, that was it, so infuriating. And just so stressful, but, you know, it being kind of worth it in the end, I guess. I don't know. I just got to diversify, man. I got a phone market. Basically, just call up people who might want voiceovers and just be like, Hey, wanna... You need a voiceover? Or, well, okay, you're ba you basically be like, Are you accepting demos? Which a demo is basically just like an audio headshot. You just record a bunch of... Ads of yourself usually get, you know, once you get to a certain point, you can get it professionally produced. But you just, uh, take your time. Just, uh, calling them up or emailing them and being like, hey, well, are you accepting demos right now? And most of the time, they'll just be like, yeah. And then, like, you know, maybe a few months from then, they're like, oh, hey, we need someone who sounds like this. And they'll go looking through all the demos they've been sent, and they're like, oh, hey. That's the perfect person right there. Let's let's hire them. And I'm in a unique position where I have a very unique voice. Um, in a lot of ways, like I'm able to. I I have a very young voice despite being you know, you know, you know uh, and I can go even younger. Like I do a lot of teens or even like kid voices. Um, I'm not gonna do them right now because my voice is kind of tired. But like. That is not something a lot of uh, adult people, adult AMAP people can do. Or AMAP. AMAP? Designated, assigned, I don't remember. But, um, yeah. So, like, there's a, there's a few. There's, like, you know, Scott Mendel who plays Robin on Team Titan. And, uh, Tom Kenny plays SpongeBob, kind of can. But, like, it's. Yeah, it's it, it's good. It means that you know if they're looking for specifically a kid voice, would they rather work with an actual kid who's going to be you know kind of a to work with, their literal child, or do they want to work with an adult who can sound like a kid and be able to you know take direction and work professionally like an adult? Plus, you know, there's all these laws around working with kids. For uh, productions like this, child labor laws, and parents gotta be involved, and negotiations are frustrating, and all sorts of stuff that they wouldn't want to deal with. Oh my god, I'm almost there. Oh my god, this is taking way too long. I don't even care, I'm just gonna barrel through. Bam, did it. Did it? There we go. Well, um, I think I finished the mission, but... Still gotta get... 
Jeez, there have been a minute since I've uh, played this game. I keep taking breaks for other stuff, you know, Mario Party came out. Which, if you guys want to play like Mario Party or Jackbox sometime, definitely, you know, join the Discord server. It's linked down below on the browser version. It's an open invite, so feel free to join up. And, uh, yeah. You know, just be... follow. Follow. Subscribe if you can. We'll, uh, play some games when we play some games. Um... It's a bit, you know, difficult sometimes, because, like, on Halloween I tried to do some, and... Yeah, nobody was around, so... I ended up, uh... Just kind of playing by myself. Uh, Coco joined in. But it was, you know... It was real sad. It's like when nobody comes to your birthday party when you invite your whole class as a kid. Uh... You know... Did that ever happen to me? It didn't never fully happen to me. I had always, like, a you know, friend or two show up. But... I, I was rarely a popular kid. Like, to me, video games. Video games were, like, uncool, I guess. I don't know, it was annoying. Where it was, like, video games were considered this uncool, nerdy hobby, and then, oh, Halo comes around and... You know... Call of Duty, and everybody's like, ooh, now I'm into video games, and it's like, really? Okay. It's just frustrating that it turned into, like, this bratty jock thing. It's like, those games are fun. <gasps> Don't get me wrong, I mean, Call of Duty kind of sucks. Halo's fun, though. Um... Is this correct? Should I be getting on the freeway? Oh no. Really not that big a deal. For the most part. You know, it's like, they'll come after you, but, eh, not that big a, big of an issue. Let me save. 47. So there's like a, about a hundred missions? I don't know. I, I, as with a lot of open world games like this, there's not a huge indication as to how close I am to the end. Like, I'm sure I'm making progress, but am I halfway through, or am I, like, two-thirds through? I don't know. Maybe I can finish the... you can get to the ending by 70%. I'm trying to get to the ending as quick as I can, since I'm not trying to 100% it, so I don't know. There's, like, easier ways to do that. Feel free to let me know. I don't... Oh, wait. I remember. I'm not going to do that one right now. Maybe another time. Let's do Red Skull. What's the Red Skull? It looks more intimidating, so I'm not certain if it's what I want to do. But let's check it out at least. Baron Praxis, or in English, Baron Practice. Oh. This is kind of nice. One of my favorite things about open world games is just going to hang out and drive around. The thing I was really enjoying in GTA is just, just grabbing a car going for a drive. I like driving. Oops. There's no shortcuts out of here. And that's the most frustrating thing about this freeway. Is you can't just get off. 
Like, you can't get off early. It's not like an actual freeway where there's like multiple exits, it's just you go or you don't. Like, that's real obnoxious. I don't know. How, where actually is it? Let me see the map. I guess I'll just get out and find a, another zoomer somewhere in here. Or I can just walk. I mean, it's not that far. It's one of those things where it's like... It's not the most annoying, but it's annoying enough to, to make me want to uh, avoid it. Yep, yep, yep. Tomorrow's an exciting day. Coco's birthday! Coco's gonna be turning 27? Is that right? 94, yeah. 27. Nice. Um, yeah, that should be a pretty exciting day. Got Coco a real good present. Gonna be having some, uh, Cold Stone Creamery Ice Cream Cake. And, tomorrow the Stardew Valley board game finally gets restocked. I've been waiting... I think it's literally been nine months for them to restock it, because I messed up missing out on it the first time. But, uh, yeah, it Help should be real heads. fun. <laughs> you know, real chill. We're not going anywhere. Um, we, uh, probably gonna order some, some Mexican food from a local Mexican place. Haven't been in a while. Pretty good. Pretty good spot, you know? I mean, it, it, as with most restaurants, it's, it depends on the, uh, the cook who is on that time. Sometimes good cooking, sometimes bad cooking. You know. Can I Scott skip this? Stop! Take no. oh God, this is so much damage. I'm supposed to handle myself, and you're over there doing whatever, huh? Doing flips. Doing flips. So. Gotta remember, I got a melee. We got them all. The metalheads are getting bolder every day. It's almost like they're testing our defenses, like probing attacks. I've got a oh no, about this. that doesn't sound good. Yeah, you're welcome. Listen, she's a busy, busy woman. Let me double check. I'm feeling weirdly paranoid that my audio is not uh going through. Hold on, just a moment. I'm just gonna double check that. My audio device is working. Check, check. Okay, okay, everything's good. When is... There was a game I remember seeing on a Direct a long time ago. Like a long, long time ago at this point for... Uh, it was called Card Shark. It was literally about, like, cheating at poker and learning how to do, like, the Erdnay's uh, techniques. The area is secure. Um, Erdnays being, uh, I believe it was S.W. Erdnays. He was some, but some magician or card cheat or something who basically used that pseudonym. And I don't, I, I don't know if we ever figured out who he was, but, uh, he used that pseudonym to publish a book called The Expert at the Card Table back in, like, God, no, maybe even earlier, maybe like the 1800s. I don't know, but it's like an old one. 
and it's great if you want to do learn sleight of hand to be a magician or if you want to learn how to do some uh card cheating not that i'm you know, recommending you do that but if you wanted to that that would be the way to do it but uh yeah uh, that game uses the techniques from that book to, uh, so that you can do that, so it looks super fun. Um, and I'm excited for it, but I don't know. It's some indie game. And it's one where it's like, if you get caught, you get shot. So it's like, there are high stakes. Because it's like, everybody wants to learn how to be like a card sharp and cheat like that but it's like of course you don't want to actually do it because then you'll get freaking murdered and like or like get the crap beaten out of you like in rounders but like there's that fantasy of learning to do it so like being able to get that escapism and try it out in a virtual space like that sounds fun I was I certainly would love to be like a card shark if if it wasn't a super dangerous and B if I had the time because I love card games, and I'm decent at poker, but I don't I don't think I'm necessarily good enough to go pro. Oop. Oh, jeez. Uh -huh. Well, this isn't great. Oh, yep. I'm, I'm back up, I guess. Okay. Well, that was an odd experience. I don't know. I, I guess I was just looking for, like, the button that, like, flips the warthog. In, uh, Halo. Oh, God. Dang it. Did I go around the exact wrong way? No, I'm still going the right way. That's the thing, is, like, this city doesn't need to be this big and because there's not much to explore outside of the missions and like the challenges like it's the same like 12 people handful of zoomers like the place itself looks kind of cool but like the actual design is so sloppy there's just nothing much to do which is a problem a lot of open world games have it's like you know, I'll, I'll excuse it if it's like Fallout because it's supposed to be a big empty wasteland, or like, um, what was that one? Shadow of the Colossus. Shadow of the Colossus has technically open world movement, but uh, you don't uh, d d there's like nothing to do. I guess you can find the lizards. Like, the majority of that game is just a lot of emptiness. Excuse me, can I do the mission, please? Okay, there. Go through the tiny gap. I'll send you a medal. Now, if you don't mind, I'm on a deadline, so scream Are you always this difficult? Let me handle this, Jack. Listen, lady, we beat your stupid course. And we can outrace anybody in this city. Wait, that voice. Now, there's just two things you need. <sighs> yeah, 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 it's Kira. We know. We don't want to you're not, your stinking race team. You're not surprising Thank anybody. You. you just lost your <laughs> with Orange Lightning. Let's go, Jack. Daxter, it is you. Kira? Oh, I never thought I'd be so glad was to that see you spell it? mug. I thought it was just K-I-R-A. Different. It's been a tough ride. The Baron pumped our boy here full of dark Doesn't look that and different. He has a beard, I guess. Yeah, he's got super moves or something. And a few anger issues as well. I've been looking for you guys forever. And planning a way to get us back home. Somehow that rift took us far into the future. I've calculated the Or the past. The it's well, like clearly the past. Sort of. Working with the underground, fighting the Baron. But he's, uh, what? You need to go see him. And I need to get to the Baron. You could try to win the Class 1 Racing Championship. The winner of that big race always gets to meet the Baron in the palace. But you have to qualify hmm. by winning the lower class races. There's a Class 3 race starting soon. You could drive for my team. But yep, Jack, let's do it. think about getting out of here. 
I don't like this place. And some of the people are creepy. Jack, my boy. I need that. Oh, you came out. A special client has requested it. Sorry about that, crew. <laughs> I must have forgotten. Right. Just gonna move the mic a little bit. I don't think you should give him that. Attention, all citizens. The class three race is about to begin. Let's do it. Race time, baby. Maybe I should put my gun away. Oh, geez. That sounds intimidating. Are they after me? My map isn't flashing. They're not attacking. I guess I'm good. Where do I go to start the race? Where do I go? Over here? Looks like it's over here. Yeah. The heck is this? Turbo. Wait, what the hell is that font? Was that three? Is that how threes look? Yeesh. Okay. In my element now, I love me a racing game. See if those were straightaways. Uh oh. Jeez! Not even like a like key two. Like someone picking up. I like miss that. Drift. Racing game, no drift? Drift, no racing game? I'm saying like fourth and fifth pretty easy, but uh. Yeah, getting up to the higher ranks is a little tricky. If I hop, nope, nope. <laughs> Gonna try that. Try that with some turbo if I can. I feel like if I turbo up that, I shouldn't have any problem. Try it again, anyways. Nope. Yeah, maybe with a turbo, but certainly not at regular speeds. <sighs> Hit the gym today. Got a full workout. Sometimes, you know, due to fatigue or just time constraints, I gotta, gotta skip some stuff, which I, I don't like doing. But, uh, don't always have a choice. But, uh, yeah, I got, you know, I, d I didn't do planks, I guess, but that's, that doesn't really matter that much to me. And I actually got to do some, uh, stationary bike, which is awesome. And, I just got Pikmin Bloom, so I got a friggin' butt ton of steps in, because I had my phone in my pocket the entire time I was, like, working out. So I counted it as, like, 5,000 steps, which is awesome. I'm halfway to, like, a, a big Pikmin. Ah, crap. That's really 
sucks. As a racing game. Just bumping. Just bumping everybody. And then, not really a ton of strategy to it. it. Whoops. Like the driving itself. I just... I just wish it handled like the zoomers from the first game. The zoomer in the first game was great. It felt awesome. But here? These zoomers suck. There's so much like heavier and clunkier. This is what I was afraid the zoomers would be like when everyone was like, oh, the zoomers suck and Jack and Daxter. But like, no, in the first game they were really good. Felt like super fun racing game stuff. And now they just feel like Garbo. Crap. Dang it, I got into first just as I haven't even finished a race yet. I keep just dying. Yeah, that three and third is terrible. join the discord you can see that posts all my drawings there um i was doing like a one of those october daily drawing challenges which was pretty fun but uh yeah it, it really got me um inspired to draw more because i i used to want to be like an artist and i just never never really tried hard enough um because i just the way I, my process used to be it would take like four or five hours to finish a drawing, and I was like, I can't do that every day. But now, I basically, uh, I have it now where it takes me like you know, half an hour to an hour. You know, depending on how much work I'm putting into it. Uh, you know, my drawings aren't incredible, but I like doing them. It's real fun. And it feels pretty fulfilling to be able to see people being like, I like your drawing. Um, that's just nice. You get a little validation. Uh, I want... Scott, the big thing is going to be now that I'm not doing the art challenge every day, I'm going to have to actually think of what to draw every day. Which I could always just look up prompts. Or, you know, the classic thing would just be fan art. I got a lot of things I'm a fan of. You know, maybe I'll do Jack and Daxter. Definitely do Kaiji at some point. I love Kaiji. Now that I've gotten into it. Like, it's so good. The character designs are pretty ugly, though. So, like, it's not so much that I like it for the art. Although, something about it, I'm just, like, I do find pretty charming. But it's the writing that it, I'm just like, hell yeah. This this stuff is so intense. The suspense. The suspense. Um. Yeah. The characters themselves, I've grown to like, but you know, they are kind of shitheads. I mean, they're like underground gambling dudes, so takes a special kind of person to live that kind of life. Not a, not necessarily a nice person. Ah, what's really interesting is that, um, this newest part, 
is so different. There's not really a game, but there's still the same kind of strategizing that the other parts have had. Like, games... But no! Damn it! Ah, why is it five laps? That's so long. So I'm pretty sure, like, NASCAR races, what are they, like... 50 laps? 100? No, it's like... Right, the Talladega 500. It's what, 500 miles? Of a race? Or 500 laps? I don't know, is the racetrack a mile? I don't... I don't follow car racing. I know you put street races because of uh, Fast and Furious are a quarter mile. Like drag racing, but... I don't know. Yo, you guys remember in Hellboy 2, The Golden Army, the subplot about how Hellboy's girlfriend was pregnant, and then that was what brought him back from the brink of death? What, uh... What, uh... What was that baby gonna look like, you know? Never got a Hellboy 3. You got that reboot, which was, you know, not great. Not terrible, though. I liked it. Um, it, it got really saved by how awesome the third act is. The third act, it's just like, literal hell on earth, demons coming up and doing all sorts of stuff. It's just so metal and so awesome, I loved that. The beginning parts were like that. Yeah, fine. I like the scene with Baba Yaga. It's pretty good. Pretty good. Hellboy's motivations were pretty, you know, uninteresting. The thing about Hellboy is that he's a very stoic character, you know? He likes... He likes the cigar. He likes hanging out, but for the most part, he's just like... Just like a very quiet, stoic dude. So, like, the, the way they play him in these movies, he's very, like, kind of silly. I'm okay with that. You, Ron Perlman is always going to be the best in the way. Like, David Harbour, I like. I don't have a problem with his performance necessarily, but it's like, Perlman just has that voice. You know, he just... Ooh, he just sounds so perfect. You know... Appropriately, Monic. Or, well, Hellboy's not really a demon. Maybe, like, some kind of cryptid. Jeez Louise, this is just the first race. I'm gonna have a hard time. In these, uh, other races. Yeah, they're like right on my tail. Bam! First. Oh, that sucks. It was so long. When is this city gonna provide some challenge? Speeding huh? slowly. Hey, I watched your race today. You were pretty amazing out there. Hey, thanks. Oh, thanks. Uh, Kira, uh, this is Ashlyn. She's just... Everyone knows who she is. And Kira's... Oh, okay. Uh, a friend. A very good friend. Thanks what are you uh, day, implying you here? You saved a lot of lives. I'm not my father, you know. Ever since uh, I was sure. a little girl, I've looked down at the city streets from that ridiculous path. Right. Her dad is the Baron, I forgot. By the way, they're hunting for you. I'd watch out for Errol. I can't protect you from him. Woo! She's a Betty! And she a likes Betty? you, Betty? What's that mean? Not that I can account for her tastes. I bet you'd love <clears throat> to pin some medals on her chest, huh? <laughs> what does that what? mean, Jack? What did, say? what did you say, Jack? Or Dexter. Jack. Jackster. And eh, whatever. You being gross. <laughs> Let's save.
All right, 50%. Pretty good. Oh, these weekday streams. <sighs> They're always pretty, pretty, you know, relaxed, not a lot of viewers, but, you know. If anybody out there wants to chat or anything, doesn't have to be on topic, talk about a movie you saw recently or something, you know, talk about a different game. I don't really care. No pressure if you want to just lurk or whatever, you know, but if you, if you're not talking because you, uh, don't have anything specific to say about the game, just talk about whatever, man. I it's, it, I have the chatty tag on for a reason. I love talking to the folks about whatever. I like movies. I like board games. I like video games, of course. Just did some more board game unboxings. I got like nine of them in the pipeline. Which is uh, pretty sweet. Or no, like seven, but still. Um, I got that. I got a bunch of other games that I have pre-ordered through Kickstarter or whatever. I got a uh, Stardew Valley game. It's going to be pretty soon, and I'm super excited for it. Whoops, I got... I wasn't paying attention where I was at. Um, and then I ordered a bunch of games from Evan Gibbs Games. Evan Gibbs Games recently did a Kickstarter for a game called The Big Pig Game. Which is so, so adorable. And it's just like got the, this adorable artwork. The premise is so silly. It's like you're a bunch of animals who live with some people. People went out to the movies, but they didn't take you, so you're upset, so you're just gonna eat all their food. And that's it. It's about like eating as much food as you can before they get back. And it's got like a little tracker for them coming back. It's so cute. But it unfortunately didn't get funded. It was only like $700 short. It's so sad. But um, they're going to relaunch it eventually. They're going to rework some things. Uh, apparently it was just a rough a rough month for a lot of tabletop projects anyways. But uh, yeah, uh, because I backed that and unfortunately didn't get it. Uh, sent, me, sent me a coupon code for their other games, which includes Robo Junkyard, which is adorable, and Bunny Party of Maple Valley, so... For those, or a cute little fridge magnet of a clown rabbit, it's great. Super excited to get those. Really have my fingers crossed on the Stardew Valley board game, dude. I've been waiting... So, like, literally, the first time it went up, I was like, uh, you know, I'm, I've been doing alright in terms of business, but I spent a lot of money. It probably won't go, it won't sell out for like a week. I can sit on it. And, uh, yeah, next day it was sold out. Meanwhile, someone on a board game geek forum that I mentioned that to was like, nah, dude, I, I thought, like, this isn't gonna last a day. And it didn't. But, yeah, they're restocking it tomorrow. 12 noon Pacific time, which is 3 o'clock for me in the Eastern time zone. And, uh, yeah, I'm super excited to get it. I'm desperately hoping to get a copy. And it seems like I sh it's good to wait anyways, because they're updating a few small things, adding some new components. So I hope it's the same price, but even if it isn't, it's all good. Hey, what's up? with five of the nastiest metalheads you ever saw. Who are you talking Slime, about? Uzi you? From monstrous jaws. Teeth sharper than daggers. Slowly, all ten of them surround me. But do I surrender? No! Ain't you I silly, Daxter. And, <coughs> and when the dust cleared, there were twenty less metalheads in the world. Oh, Daxter, you're amazing. Yeah, I know. Some other games that I uh, pre-ordered. Oh, maybe I should pay attention to this. Oh jeez. There's like a weird doubling effect on Daxter there. Uh, some other ones I got were... Uh, Artisans of Splendent Valley, which looks amazing. It's kind of like Gloomhaven, but also kind of its own thing. And it's like, it's basically like a 
a play along co-op RPG with, with where you're all you're all artists who di do different things and you go on adventures. It uses like a spiral bound book with like these laminated pages for the actual like combat areas. Everybody has like a big old paperback book so they can read along while you, you know, the, whoever's game it is, me, narrates it. And they use these little adorable custom wooden meeple. Oh god, I'm so excited. It was really expensive because it's a lot of really great stuff. I mean, it comes with four full paperback books, basically. Like, oh my god, I'm so, so excited for it. Uh, some other stuff would be Mythic Mischief, where you're like monster kids trying to sneak into the forbidden uh, library and you're like trying to get the other team caught, which looks super fun. And it's got like witches and trolls and ghosts. And uh, one of the Kickstarter exclusives was that it has glow-in-the-dark ghosts, which is awesome. And of course I got that. Well, okay, it wasn't Kickstarter, it was, um... Was it? Game found. It's game found. So yeah, I, I got some fun stuff coming up. Ooh, and I also got tax season. Oh boy. But hopefully, you know, I'm able to make a decent amount of money. It's continuing. Continuing so I can save up for the, uh, the gaming PC I want to get, which is going to be like 2500 bucks, but it'll last me like a quite a while, I'm sure. And it'll be upgradable, so it's like, you know, I might have to spend a couple hundred extra bucks on a new, uh, graphics card or whatever eventually, but I don't mind too much. Yeah, if it, if it helps out, I'll get it. The big thing is, like, going from the PlayStation 4 is fine. Going from my uh, MacBook, not great. My MacBook's encoding. I finally found out. It's like, my MacBook's graphics are fine. It's the encoding. It just doesn't have enough CPU to be able to encode cleanly, so it always has to be like kind of janky frame rates. Like my Event Zero stream, ugh, did not go well. Oh. Hey, get out of here, bro. Mm. That's the only thing I do with. Just gotta keep an eye out, I guess. I can see a little gem in their head. Sure. I guess I can kind of go off of their class. Hold on, hold on. Just got. Ooh. Just gotta keep an eye out. Huh? Over there. Oh, that's you butthead. Oh, the holidays are coming up. I'm gonna be traveling. I kind of decided, I mean, it's not super last minute because I you know, did it right at the end of October here, but um, yeah, I decided I'm gonna go to Seattle and see my family. I was you know, dubious, I was like, oh, maybe I should wait for, you know, I was waiting for us to get to herd immunity with the vaccines, but then it's like, it's not, it's not happening fast enough. So, since it's stagnated, it's like, I got, I got COVID. It, it ended up happening, and I am vaccinated. It was a breakthrough case, but it's like, as my dad put it, he's like, I basically have a super vaccine having already had COVID and being vaccinated, so that should be good. Just worry about others. I don't want to be the asshole who fucking infected somebody with COVID just because I can't get it. Well, whatever. I'm gonna go. You know, gotta figure out what I'm gonna get everybody for for Christmas. My family, my family is always like, like every single year we're just like, maybe we shouldn't do gifts. A.K. We're all really broke. Maybe we should save money and just hang out, which I'd be fine with. You know, I usually I'll get like some little thing, like I don't know, I'll get everybody like a book or something. I think they'll like. But um. 
know, you don't have to go all out, really. It's like, it's not about the money, it's about... It's about just showing somebody that you were thinking about them and that you appreciate them. So that's, that's usually all I do. But, uh... Yeah, it's, uh, it's gonna be interesting. I haven't seen them in- I haven't seen them in three years! Because I didn't end up visiting during, uh, 2019. So, it was 20, 2018 was the last time I saw them. And I, I traveled a lot in 2019, so... Or, yeah, 2018, I tra- I took, like, four cross-country trips that year. And it's like, it was great. It was super fun, but it was also so expensive. Like, even if I was able to get somebody else to buy my plane ticket, it's like, I still had to buy, like, new luggage, and I had to, you know, buy expensive airport food while I was, you know, in the airports and such. Yeah, this time I'm doing much better. And I have, I have credit, which is awesome. Like, I, I have, like, a good credit score and a good credit limit, so, like, I can put it on that and pay it off later, which is awesome. Huh. <sighs> but, uh, yeah, it's, it's interesting. The, to, to finally be traveling again, I'm, I'm nervous about it. I'm thinking, considering, I don't know if... I don't know. I, I have some ideas for plans to do there, even if... Even if nobody wants to, you know, do stuff, it's like... I want to be generous, because there were many years where I was like... I was, I was one of the broke kids in the family. And now I'm like, I'm doing pretty well financially, so it'd be cool to, uh... It'd be cool to, like, pay back, like, my grandma and my dad. Like, take them out to dinner, maybe. That'd be cool, but, you know, depends on it. They'll even allow me, my dad never lets me, never lets me pay even when I have been able to afford it. That's just parents, you know. At least one of my parents, I don't know about. I don't know about y'all's parents. My mother is always perpetually broke. Like, she's, she's in a position where she finally has, like, you know, a steady job, as far as I can tell. She also lives in, like, the middle of nowhere. So, probably not too expensive for her living out there. Ooh, ooh, egg, egg. Yeah. I don't know for certain, though. Don't quote me on that. Yeah, my hope is to actually have savings soon. And, uh, a big thing is just, like, taxes. I do, I do estimate taxes as a freelancer, but, you know, I've been told I should probably set up an LLC, and, like, my taxes, my, your estimated taxes will be based on your last year's taxes, so as long as you pay off, like, estimated 80% of what your last year's taxes were, you're good as far as, like, any fees or anything, but, like, yeah, I feel like my taxes are gonna be a lot higher this year because I made a lot more money. But, uh, who knows? That's why I'm looking at a CPA. Gotta, gotta get somebody who actually knows money. Okay, I think I got everybody in this area. Um, I'm gonna take a quick break because I really need to use the restroom, but I will be back in just a minute, so don't go anywhere. Don't touch that inner dial. Back with some more Jack and Daxter in just a minute.
And we're back! Like I said, short break. Um, I usually, I just do some jumping da- jumping jacks. Excuse me, I couldn't say it for some reason. And like, you know, hit up the bathroom, get more water if I need it, but like... Yeah. I'll also, on some days, do push-ups and jumping jacks, but uh... Uh, today I went to the gym, so trying to trying to rest my muscles so I can get some muscle growth. Which would be very nice. It's it's hard for me to get any bulk. I'm just too tall. I'm like 6'2, so that means that um even though I'm like over 200 pounds, a lot of which is like some muscle, you know. And it's also like fat and Great deal of water. I get. I stay very hydrated, so a lot of water retention. But um, yeah. Uh, it just. I don't look like bulky or anything. I just look, you know, average. I want to get that bulk. I want to get get super jacked. I want to get swole. Want to be big and beefy. Maybe someday. Maybe someday, but, you know, just gotta keep working at it. It's hard. It's, it's, it's a lot of work. I, I go to the gym for, like, hour, hour and a half, sometimes two hours. Um, four times a week. You know, sometimes three. Similar to my streams, sometimes three. But, yeah, it's, it's... Difficult to get out there. God dang it. Got it all turned around. Where do I go now? Just trying to get to that next area that I was in before. Where was that at? Hmm. Play some more oath sometime. I gotta continue that uh clockwork clockwork prince playthrough at some point. I really have put it off. I don't know, I just my similar to Pokemon it's like it's one of those ones where I gotta like sit down and like really be attentive and like be really taxing on my voice. Especially considering how much I've been working lately, it's like... I don't want to rough up my voice any more than I need to, but... It don't work. It's like, that's my job, baby! I gotta be able to talk! If my voice is all roughed up, well, I'm gonna miss out work a little bit. That's... that's no good! Until I can get some money coming in on this stream situation. Speaking of which, uh, appreciate it if you could, would consider subscribing. You know, you can use your Twitch Prime sub. If, if you got an Amazon Prime account, connect the two accounts. Get free sub every month. Use on me. Appreciate it. Oh, you will. Um, yeah. I'm just, I'm hoping to make some money off of this stream eventually, because at the, this point, you need to make, like, at least a hundred bucks before you can actually take any money out. And I have certainly, certainly not even come close to that threshold. I've, ma I've made like, I think twenty dollars at most. I've only been, I've been affiliate for quite a bit now. Like I have a hundred followers. If only more of them would watch. I'd sure appreciate it if more of followers were watching right now. I don't mean to pressure people. I I get it. If you guys, you know, whatever reason, for whatever reason, if you ain't watching, it's all good. Or if you're watching and not chatting, it's all chill, man. Watch watch after the fact. Hey, if you're watching after the fact, I appreciate you too. You know, I'd appreciate it if you could tune in live. You know, hang out, join the conversation, or whatever. But I get it. Schedules. You know, I I honestly don't watch nearly as many streams as I'd like to because takes a lot of time. They're always pretty long and busy. And especially if it's something where 
you gotta actually, like, watch, watch, like, you gotta look at it. Like, uh, Heavy Cardboard. They're like a board game streaming channel for YouTube that I like a lot, but, like, I... I can't watch that often because you have to really pay attention if you look away for even a couple minutes. So much happens that you're like, what? What's going on? And, uh... Yeah, that's... That's not as fun. I want to be able to see the whole thing. Come here, buddy. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, I can just slap him. That's good, because I am out of ammo. Fully out of ammo. This is not good. I only got five more to get, but I'm, I'm pretty... pretty underprepared. Hold on. Is there... somewhere I could... whoop. That might be work. Ah, pause the game, pause the game. Um... Yep, let me see if I can get this. Just gotta wait a few seconds before I can hit accept. Sorry, folks. It's one of the realities of streaming during the day when streaming is, you know, not your, uh, day job. Just gotta, just gotta wait five, three, two, one, accept. Did I get it? Nope, didn't get it. Dang it. I had a couple revisions today, which, you know, those pay. So it's not the worst, but... Man, I've had the worst luck. I, I miss out on them every time today. But like I was saying earlier, yesterday was so busy that it's like... I made most of my money for the week just off that. Which is a good feeling. But also, holy crap, was it stressful. Oh jeez, oh jeez. Careful, careful. Alright. Four more. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't hit me, don't hit me. Boy. Down to the last three, I have like the tiniest notch of health. Oh my god, is there anywhere to get healed up? I need some health, I need some ammo. Like, these enemies aren't that hard, it's just the lack of resources in this area that's really doing me in. Oh, great. Come on, get out of the water. Jack, you silly goose. What are you doing in the water? It's not where you should be. Uh, oh yeah, I should probably... This is like a grind, right? This whole area is like a grindy situation. Oh, what is it, circle? Yeah. Crap, crap. Oh god, oh god. Can't take any damage right now. I have no fu- uh, I have no health! Oh god, that's the last guy! That's the last guy! This must be something. Health, health, health. Just gotta be very, very careful! Ooh, and that's my hundredth, uh, nice little fish oil tablet. <sighs> okay. Time to head back. 
Oh, great. This is the area I got super lost in that one time. Should be okay. Just gotta... Now I get turned around. Alright, it's so over here. Down from here. It's like one tiny little gap somewhere. It's like super hidden. Over here, this is it. Okay, yeah, this this is an annoying area for this little bit alone. Oh, good, I did it! Congratulations are in order. Hip, 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 hip. Hmm. Alright. This long old hidden load time. Here we go. Back home. Oh good, is there some health in here? Nope. Just ammo, which is also appreciated. <laughs> Let me pull the mic down a little bit. Kinda kinda curled up cozy. So want y'all to be able to hear me. Oh. I gotta get this one. I got it before it even turned on. Before it even made the sound. Alright, let me just... I gotta jump. Eh. Sorry. Gotta hit accept. Come on, come on. Nine. Five. Four. Three. Two. Come on. Give it to me. There we go. There we go. Okay, it's usually... If I'm having trouble earlier in the day, it usually means there's someone else being really competitive on the site and taking them all, so... You know, usually later in the day, they'll... They'll turn it off and go eat dinner or whatever, and I can... I can sweep up some of the ones later on. And also, it usually gets pretty busy around, like... Four to six ish. So, yeah. No prop, dude. Like I said, if, as long as I get like, what, like seven today? I did 23 yesterday, trying to do at least 15 per day. That's, yeah, that's, you just need seven. This makes four. Three more. I'll probably be able to snake three more. And even if I don't, maybe I'll have a good day tomorrow. It's good to stay optimistic, you know. I'm freelancing, you know? I'm trying not to get too stressed out. Not that I always follow that advice, unfortunately. I get very stressed out. Ah, great. Looks like it's just that one now, huh? Alright. We gotta do it. I don't wanna, but I gotta. This one was a nightmare last time. Cause you got it's like, it's a simple idea. You just gotta like grind on the sp specific rails to like knock off the hooks, knock something over. But it's like you're just being pummeled by all sorts of dudes the whole time you're doing it, and it's so frustrating. But I'll give it a few tries, and then I'll probably end the stream before I go, uh, go record this thing for work. But I want to at least give these a couple tries first. My neck is a little sore. I do, uh, of all my muscles, my lateral muscles and my, my like, neck muscles are the most, like, Impressive, I guess I'd say. 
Like, I got a, I got a pretty thick neck. Uh, pretty, pretty good lateral muscles going on. Or no, trapezoidal muscles. Lateral is, lateral is the type of raise I do to, to bulk up. But, um, yeah. It's real sore. Thankfully I have like a weighted neck thing. It's nice. It gets cold. Mm, feels good. Alright, let's give this crap another couple tries. Down in the elevator. Yep. End up over here. Hit 24 of them, huh? Not I think there's like three per thing, too, so. And it boils down to what, eight? You know what? I think what I'll just do is take out as many guards as I can. So that when I do do the thing, it's like. Eh. Ah, no! Immediately? Come on. Alright. Let's just dodge around, I guess. Oh, okay, good. Good, good, I'm glad. God, oh my god. God, keep knocking me off my board. So ridiculous. If I end up not finishing this game, it will literally be because of this garbage, dude. This is so hard. And, like, you only get four notches of health. I guess I just gotta get off and take out the guards and then do it. I don't know what other way I really could manage. Just gotta take it slow and careful. I think I can manage. But this is a technique. Hopefully a lot of them have help. I'm just trying not to freak out. Because I know when I freak out, my gaming just... <laughs> no dive. My skills are very heavily predicated on uh, my ability to chill. Yep. Alright, come on now. Ignore these guys, because they're not really in the way. Uh, Cannot okay. ignore these guys.
I don't like how, like, chill the music is also. Like, super, like, over-the-top stuff happening, but then the music is just like... Wait, that's the James Bond theme. Now, oh, whatever. Turn around, turn around. Gotta yeah. Okay. Attack each other on accident. That's the ideal. Watch out for the grenades. Get any health I can while I can. Just gotta keep going. Make it not easy, but like be methodical about it. When I start panicking and trying to rush. That's when stuff goes bad. They respawn at all. My hope is that they do not. The less guards I have to deal with, the freaking better. Nope, nope, nope! Oh my god. Okay. Gonna give it three more tries. Three's a lot for how long I can do this. I'm gonna say. God, they're so annoying, dude. Oh, 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 freak out. Freak out. If I freak out, I'm just gonna have a bad time. I just got chill. Did this part because Tony Hawk was Tony Hawk's Pro Skater was big. There's no way they would have done that. Not two more tries. Yeah, I guess I could always go this way. Maybe this will be easier. I hate that the grenades, if they hit you directly, just go off. They don't, like, give you a second while, you know, the grenade is, you know, about to detonate or something. They just immediately get you. That's obnoxious. Do, 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 do. Your 
Let's try. We are gonna go left. Get off my board and shoot. Just gotta play a real slow and methodical. You only have four health to work with, my guy. Like, if he. That's like Cuphead! Literally, Cuphead has about that much health, I guess, if you have, like, an upgrade or whatever. But, like, that is Cuphead levels of hard in what is meant to be kind of a big game! So this is. It's pretty ludicrous difficulty for what it is. Well, that does it for me today. I gotta go get some work done. But uh, join me again on Thursday for more Jack 2. And hey, thank you very much for choosing Iggy Kid Twitch Streams as your streaming entertainment. I know you have a lot of options when it comes to streaming entertainment, and I appreciate you choosing me. Um, please be sure to follow and subscribe if you can. Use that Twitch Prime sub. Connect your Amazon Prime account, get a free sub every month, use on me. I appreciate it, because I know you will. Follow me on Twitter, uh, at IggyDKid. Follow my personal YouTube, Iggy and the Ape. Follow the Twitch archive, which is IggyKid, one word, Twitch archive on YouTube. Those are all linked down below on the browser version. Be sure to tune back in for, you know, some Jackbox or Super Mario Party. Not Super Mario Party, Mario Party Superstars. Like, tune back in for that stuff. Tune back in for some more Jack 2 on Thursday, round 3. And, yeah, have a good rest of your week. Have a good Wednesday. You can do it. I believe in you. And, hey, if no one else has told you this, I'll tell you this. You're a good kid. So, I'll, uh, I'll be back later. All right, let me see. Uh, Saura's streaming. Let's, let's stream over to... Let's stream over to her. All right. It's good to raid. So... Let's let's do that here. One sec. Do, like, Slash rate. Ooh, she's she's getting real excited. I think she just restarted her Animal Crossing island. So check out that stuff. And uh, yeah, have a good time with that. Let her know I sent you. You're a good kid. All right. Goodbye. Goodbye. A goodbye. A goodbye.